All right, um, let's do another tutorial video, a real quick one, for Harold Heisenberg. Um, asked, uh, how do I add one picture per frame individually for to create a video like this? Now, the problem is you don't you don't do a video like this in a normal editor. This is done with uh, After Effects. This type of motion tracking is a really advanced technique, and trying to add one frame per one frame at a time is going to drive you crazy. You will want to die. Uh, even with After Effects, this is going to be a lot of work, so be prepared. And that's basically what I asked here, but Harold asked, okay, how do you do that in After Effects? I will show you. All right, here's After Effects, but before we go there, let's jump over to Photoshop. A um, number of years ago, I went to San Diego Zoo, and I took a picture of this gorilla, and... Uh, just with the um, quick select tool, you can isolate his head really quickly, copy it out, paste it into a new document with a transparent background, and save it as a PSD file. Okay, that's done. Gorilla Head is imported in here, and I've got this stupid video I made of me doing a cinnamon challenge. So I'm not going to start here at the first frame. I'm going to start here, where you can see my stupid head about to ingest some cinnamon. And I'm going to drop the Gorilla Head on top of me. All right, so let's position Gorilla Head here properly. Nice big Gorilla Head covering up my head. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm not going to try and do it perfectly, and I'm just going to do a little rotation here to try and get the gorilla head a little bit more lined up with my head. All right, now the trick how do you do the tracking? <sighs> um, right here, using the tracker, which you can bring up through the window menu tracker. We're going to select the source as Cinnamon Challenge and Now we're going to track the motion. That's going to ask for a track point. You can use any point on your object. It doesn't have to be somebody's head. It could be, you know, a train, planes, automobiles, whatever you want to track. But it should be a point that has a high contrast. So, like, my cheek, not be, going to be good. A nostril, that would be good. Most of the times an eye is going to be the best. Let's zoom in here a little bit because we're... We're going to want some detail here. All right, so grab your tracker and line it up with the eyeball. We're going to do position and rotation. You can also add scale to it, which will give you uh, z-axis tracking. Uh, but I just want to do the two. I don't want to bog my computer down too much. Anyway, drop it right on a point that's going to be trackable. Now you hit the play button here, you're going to see it's going to track, and eventually, when I blink my eyes, it's going to lose the track. So you got to walk it back, and then yeah, let's reset this. And, oh, I didn't want to reset that. Anyway. we go. As soon as the track, see a blink, and it starts to go off, you get in there and you, res you reset it. Move it to where you want it. And you continue playing. Oh, now, now it went too far, too wide. I'll bring it back down. You can see this this is this takes some time, but it's so much faster than trying to place individual frames. Now, the point is eventually, like when my head turns, you're gonna want to use a different photo. Uh just like in in this video, as the the dancing guy on the field dances around, they use different Kim Jong un photographs. So as my head comes down, then you stop using this photograph and you use a different photo. So this is good enough for this demonstration. And apply that and there's the gorilla head. 
And you see it tracks. It does not track perfectly because I'm not doing a really great job with this. But you get you get the idea. We could, uh, could even go back into the tracker. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. You can even go back into the tracker and just, just let it play out. But I just want to show you that in just a few seconds, just I was able to do tracking really easy with After Effects, and that just a handful of frames in a traditional NLE like Lightworks or Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere would take you hours. That's all i got to say about that.